with that knee brace and foot. On a gray and right now smoky day due to the pregame fireworks here at Legion Field. Auburn the receiver. And they're going to go for the fake. And they've got the first down and more inside the 20, the 10, bumped out at the 5. At the new single season record. And it's good, is 23rd. Played here was the 98 Iron Bowl, the last time it was played on a neutral field. And then former coach Pat Dye got him to move it on to each campus in Tuscaloosa and down in Auburn. A couple of punters will be utilized by Memphis today. This is Spencer Smith. He's their longer punter. And off the bobble, Davis is able to scoop it back in with the PAT. And it is good. Ten to nine. And the kick is away, and Memphis will let digits five times this season. They have rallied from double-digit deficits to come back to win. It is away from Phillips. And trying to make the fair catch, and it looks like an Auburn player interfered with it. And I think it may have actually hates are playing for Memphis to catch today. interference. Kicking team. Number 14, 15-yard penalty, first down. It's one of the best in the country. Boot is on its way, and it is good. At, uh, at the University of Tulsa, so you know, being able to compete against uh, Memphis and uh, you know, seeing the job of what uh, you know, Coach Fuente. With the nine, the punting unit is on. He's about to become, he will be, the youngest head coach in FBS as he takes over the reins. For the Memphis Tigers, thank you. His career long is 56, by the way. This one, a 34-yarder, and it's blocked. Blake Countess got in to block it. It is he was releasing. PAT is good from Jake. It's been a year for Sean Wright in and out of the lineup due to injuries. Same thing for Jeremy Johnson in and out of the lineup. And the return here for Ford gets it out across. After that, a couple of run plays, and now the punt from Spencer Smith. Davis picked up a couple on the return to the 22. 45 yards on the boot, four on the return, 33 seconds to go on the half, and perhaps the story is that of Paxton Lynch. Is he good to go? After appearing to hurt his wrist, Auburn, they scored on their first two possessions and now turning it over three times in their last five drives. Two interceptions from the quarterback and one from Jason Smith, the receiver. And I think Coach Malzahn's going to take this one in here. A couple easy plays and regroup 10 10. Two teams uh, offensively both struggling. Robinson with the carry. Sharif White with the stop. Good to see Leonard Pegues back out there as well. Defensively from Memphis. He went down with an injury earlier. Let's see if Malzahn wants to run one more play. Off comes the headset. That might be all for the first half. First 10 points for the Auburn Tigers, the next 10 points for the Memphis Tigers. All of those coming off of turnovers for Memphis. And we are tied at 10 apiece here, halftime of the Birmingham Bowl. Uh, let's go down to the field now, Paul Carcaterra. Coach, back-to-back -back interceptions by Sean White. What do you tell your young quarterback at halftime? Yeah, we're just not getting it done. Our defense is playing their butt off. Offense, we got to help them out. But the turnovers are the difference in the game right now. You've held Paxton Lynch to 60 yards passing. What specifically have you done on that side of the ball? Our defense has done a good job covering the receivers. We got some pressure on him, and that, that's really helped. Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much, Paul. 10-10, to 10, our score here. Halftime in Birmingham with the Tigers, Auburn, and Memphis head to head now let's 
get you to our halftime show with John Saunders down in Arlington, Texas. John? You're watching the Birmingham Bowl, part of ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Mania. 10 0 Auburn lead, and then Memphis responded with 10 points off of turnovers. We are all even as we get set to start the third quarter of play. Auburn outgaining Memphis 197 to 91 for one of the top scoring teams and the most potent offenses in the country. Paxton Lynch injured his non throwing wrist late in the first half. On that run play, he is back out on the sideline, was throwing the pill around a little bit. They are set to receive here to start out the second half. Beth Mowens, Anthony Beck, and Paul Carcaterra with you. Let's check in with Paul. Justin Golson here today in the bowl game. He is away from Phillips. And drifting back all the way to the 11-yard line. The big tackle. And Paul's right. You know, Coach Thompson has drawn up a very good plan on defense versus this Memphis offense. Marcus Davis. That's a nice block at the 35. That'll spring him out across midfield and into Memphis territory. 11 yards. And the PAT is good. John Best in the country. They don't often give up kick returns or punt returns. And that one will go through. Receivers haven't helped them much in this game, and he's been off point on some throws. Back to back three and outs for the Memphis offense. 48 yards. Back in the second half, an 11 yard touchdown pass, and now a five yard touchdown run for Jeremy. At this tape, as well as the old Miss tape, where he was much better with the three touchdown patch passes and uh, hit on 73% of his throws that day. Sense itself, again, a missed opportunity for Memphis and Paxton Lynch. Out of their own end zone, the one hopper to Davis. Across midfield, inside the 40. Still on his feet, inside the 20, and cuts it back down to the seven-yard line. Extra point from Daniel Carlson. That is good. Their campus, only, uh, I believe, a four-hour ride from Memphis for their fans. Terrific turnout here at Legion Field. And quite a turnaround for Auburn here 